long time, but underneath, ancient hatreds were about to explode. As our image comes into focus, it's a hot summer day, June 28, 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary and his wife Sofia ride through the streets of Sarajevo in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Among the people watching, seven young men. Serbian nationalist with the backing of the separatist movement called the Black Hand. They all have orders to kill the Archduke. Archduke Franz Ferdinand was seen as a major threat to the great Serbian nationalist project. His plan entailed uh, taking Bosnia-Herzegovina and lumping it uh, together with Croatia. Heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Ferdinand seemed the logical target for disaffected radicals bent on a greater Serbia. For Ferdinand and Sofia, June 28th started out as a doubly special day. It was their 14th wedding anniversary and Sofia was pregnant with their fourth child. To the Serbs, however, the day was doubly insulting. Not only was the chief threat to Serbian solidarity riding through Bosnian streets, he had the gall to do it on a sacred anniversary of their own. June 28th is a very touchy day for the Serbs and continues to be a very touchy day for the Serbs because it is the date of the Serbian defeat in 1389 at the hands of the Ottoman Turks at Kosovo Polja. Ever since that bitter military defeat, the Serbians had felt oppressed. Today, they would strike a desperate blow for their future. As Ferdinand and Sofia ride through the streets, their driver accidentally takes a wrong turn. Gavrilo Princip, a 19-year-old suffering from tuberculosis who has nothing to lose, acts quickly. He approaches the stopped car, pulls out a revolver, and fires twice. One bullet hits Archduke Ferdinand in the neck. Sophia is struck in the abdomen. She fell uh, in between uh, Franz Ferdinand's uh, legs. Uh, at this point, uh, it is uh, reported that Franz Ferdinand uh, implored his wife to stay alive uh, for the children's sake. But it's too late. Both die shortly after. The crowd immediately apprehends the assassin. Princip and his co-conspirators stand trial. Because of his age, Princip gets life, which isn't long. He dies from his tuberculosis within four years. But his reckless act is the catalyst for a series of events that would lead to world war. Austria-Hungary is hell-bent on going to war with Serbia. Russia responded by mobilizing to support Serbia. Germany responded to Russia's mobilization by mobilizing its forces primarily against France. France mobilized. Germany invaded uh, Belgium thereby guaranteeing uh, British involvement, and thus you had uh, a world war. By the time America had declared war on Germany in 1917, most of the rest of the world had already taken sides. Known simply as the Great War, it was the first modern war, one that saw new technologies put to horrifying new uses. When Germany was finally defeated in 1918, over eight million soldiers lay dead. But peace did not resolve the world's tensions. It merely postponed them. Within a generation, the world would be at war again. And the conflicts of the rest of the century would play out against the distant echoes of shots fired. One hot summer day in Sarajevo. 1914. At the close of the 20th century, another conflict in the Balkans caught the world's attention. But this time, peacekeeping forces contained the fires of war before they spread across the globe. It was a crisis that mirrored the beginnings of World War I and a reminder that those who don't study their history are doomed to repeat it. For the History Channel, I'm Mike Rowe. Join me next time.